Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Mentor. In this video we are going to discuss about how to get the dimmed inner cities and uh, depending on your expected score what may be the cutoff. We have segregated the dimmed inner cities in uh, uh, multiple sections. Those dimmed inner cities where the tuition fee is up to 20 lakhs per year. Next uh, slab the dimmed inner cities where the tuition fee is 25 lakhs per year. Then 30 lakhs per year. Uh, other set of dimmed university where the fees up to 40 lakhs per year and uh, including all the dimmed universities for the last year up to round four for different branches what was the cutoff and we are going to look at the uh, score okay but if you are new here please do subscribe the channel first and you can look at our paid counseling guidance packages uh, for that you can visit our website neatmentor.co.in you can see the testimonials also where we have given the proof for uh, uh, Candidates who got seat allotted through us and they are from all over India. You can join our telegram group, you can join our whatsapp group. The link is available in the description of the video. You can download all the ebooks from here. And for uh, inside the portal access you can get all the details about all the state level counseling and national level counseling for all the different courses whether it is MDMS, DNB or diploma. You can get uh, fee structure, stipend, bond, penalty, last two years cutoffs okay uh, state wise counseling rules college predictor college wise details for deemed university college wise details for all the different branches and all such things okay so right now we are going to talk about this is the sheet which says like uh, for different branches what was the, what was the cutoff rank up to round four so if you look at radio diagnosis last year uh, it went up to 15,151 for the colleges where the tuition fee is 30 lakhs per year. Why we have uh, deemed university and why deemed university is more important because deemed universities are kind of private institution only but uh, the tuition fee is on higher side and they do not come under any kind of university for any uh, exam related stuffs. They have their own rule and they have their own uh, eligibility criteria everything. The counselling happens through uh, national level on the national level counseling program on MCC okay and uh, you don't have to uh, register separately for all the colleges coming under different uh, states most of the deemed universities are uh, in the state of Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Pondicherry one college is in uh, Uttar Pradesh one is in Haryana one is in Gujarat okay So I, I'm not going to repeat all those things. You can have a data here and you can look through it. Depending on the branch you're going to choose, you can see uh, what was the cutoff for last year and this year, depending on the score that you are going to expect, uh, roughly uh, how much a score you should have in order to get the branch. Like for medicine, you can't get any seat under 25 lakhs in the deemed universities. You must have budget up to 30 lakhs more than 25 you don't have the, that much budget then you can't go for deemed universities you have to look for the other options among the deep private colleges in the private colleges you can apply for state level counselings in the open states like Uttar Pradesh Karnataka Tamil Nadu Pondicherry Uttarakhand Rajasthan Bihar Haryana all such states okay so this video is going to give you idea in case you are looking to get uh, good colleges okay and all the colleges where the tuition fee is less than 25 lakhs they are one of the top colleges because and the colleges where the tuition fee is under 30 lakhs those are also one of the top colleges for radio branch if you are getting any college under 40 lakhs they are mostly good colleges but there are some deemed universities where the tuition fee is on higher side at the same time the quality of education is poor the patient load is poor and uh, since they are keeping very high fee okay candidates are going for those universities uh, in very low score so if you're looking for good institute you must select the colleges under 40 lakhs for uh, radio diagnosis dermatology <coughs> and for, for, der for general medicine pediatrics of scanny ortho you select the colleges which is having fee lesser than 35 lakhs okay i can give you all the 
institutes deemed institute where the education is very good and they are renowned and they are old institutes like uh, you can go for kmc manipal to both the branches mangalore and manipal you can go for hamdard and uh, you can go for uh, universities located in karnataka jss kelly velgabi ks hegre sdu kolar you can go for institutes in uh, maharashtra uh, parvara loni okay bhartiya vidyapeet pune uh, mgm aurangabad mgm mumbai okay uh, all such institutes are good for any detail information or kind of like how to get in uh, good deemed universities or if you are doing a state level counseling also most of the candidates would be doing state level counseling and deemed university co university counseling both okay so you require to understand the rules okay that what are the what are the rules for round 2 what are the rules for round 3 okay how you can select a seat and can still try for state level counseling to get good seat in low budget okay so for all such things you can contact us we will give you uh, guidance how to proceed in case you have just qualifying a score still you can get clinical subjects in deemed universities okay uh, in branches like surgery orthopedics ENT, ophthalmology, psychiatry, anesthesia. But for radio, dermatology, medicine, pediatrics, and uh, see these branches, you need have need to have little decent score. Okay. At the same time, you are going for deemed university. You need to have good amount of money in your packet pocket so that you can afford that much tuition fee. There are uh, low budget private colleges. So there are colleges where the tuition fee in NRI quota is also less. So if you are going for high budget private colleges or high budget deemed universities uh, once you can think about nri quota also because in some of the colleges the nri fees as maximum as around 40 or less than 50 lakhs so if you have high budget and uh, you can't get low budget colleges or medical budget, budget colleges depending on your rank then you can think about nri seats also because sometimes if you have nri seats the competition uh, reduces because all cannot apply and if they apply their uh, if they don't have the right set of documents their application will get rejected so due to reduction in the competition you can get like top medical colleges in low score also and keeping the budget high so formula is very simple uh, in case the score is low you need to increase your budget to get top colleges if you don't have good budget you want to keep the budget at medical level then you have to compromise with the college education quality okay that's how it goes so hope it is useful and if you so please share with others you can take a screenshot also thanks for watching have a nice day